Om Agnati Vidandasya Gyanantana Salakaya Chakshurunitanyena Tasmai Sri Gurudhe Namaha Vancha Kalpataruya Shanki Pasindu Gyayavacha Patitanam Pavanayyo Vaishnavayyo Namaha I called Yashoda Nandana less than 24 hours ago and I said that uh, Marie Hari and I were anxious to speak something to honor and glorify Srila Gurudev before the end of the 100th uh, celebration anniversary. And uh, it was a little late to uh, say this. And he arranged that we could speak today for his Tirubhav. So actually, this is a little more difficult to do because it's not just our memories. He gave us a um, instruction of Gurudev's to speak on. So uh, um, I, uh, I, it's uh, like he said, um, uh, Arta Pravriti and Anarta Pravriti, Navriti. <laughs> I was going to my okay. husband saying I didn't pay my respects to uh, my Srila Prabhupada and Gurudev. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Vishnu Prastaya Bhutale, Sri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Iti Namne, Namaste, Saraswati Devi, Goravani Vacharne, Nevasesha, Sunivari, Paschacha Desha Tahane, Nama Om Vishnu Padaya, Radhikaya Pia, Sri Sriman Bhakti Vedanta Narayan, Iti Namne. So, uh, uh, sort of a prologue to why it's so important for me to speak at this time is I actually met Srila Gurudev on what you could say was the worst day, which became the best day of my life. It was November 14th, 1977. And my Srila Prabhupada had entered Samadhi and left me. He was my everything. And I was bereft and crying. And Gurudev took us all under his wing and guided us through everything. But then after a few days, he was gone. And I didn't actually connect to him until um, 2002. We saw him a few times, but we never were able to meet him. And so Welcome. We welcomed him in 1996. So um, we took Shiksha from him and I didn't have time. I, I don't recall any classes and specific classes on this topic. And I tried to look things up, but with less than 24 hours, I'm just going to speak from my personal experience with Srila Gurudev and how he imparted in a very practical way this uh, instruction. So um, Anurihari Prabhu and I were on the North Shore of Hawaii at Vrindavan Das's house with uh, Srila Gurudev. I don't remember what year, um, early 2000s. And I walked into his room and either my husband or Vrinda Devi said, Srila Gurudev, it's Bhavatrini's birthday. So someone brought some flowers. Was it was Rinda? Okay, someone brought some flowers and he threw flower petals on my head and said, Mangala Bhavatu, may you be happy in this world, in the transcendental world, and be protected by Lord Nishringadev and have love for Krishna like the gopis. And then I wandered out of the room after some time. And then I came back later and I said, Srila Gurudev, it's my daughter Nipana's birthday. He goes, all right, she can have the same. And then I left and I came back later. I said, today is my grandnephew Stephen's birthday. He says, okay, same, same for him. Then I wander back in and I go, what about Radha Dashim? He goes, okay. You can have. And then I, I left. And, and this was taking place over a couple of hours. 
Then my husband and I came back in and Srila Gurudev's writing, he's looking down and he sees me and he goes, you, you cannot have Radhadashan. And I gasped and he goes, what is the name of your children? And I said, Robin, Vrindavan, uh, Kunti, Nipana, Amrita, Bhima. And then he said, what is the name of the Asta Gopis? And we both tried to name, Astasakis, and we both tried to name them, but we drew a blank. I think we said Lalita and Vishaka. Then he goes, what is the names of the Priyanarmasakas? And um, we said Subal, and then we said Sridham, who wasn't a Priyanarmasaka. And then we said Madhumangala, who was sometimes considered a Priyanarmasaka. Then he goes, who are the Asta Manjaris. I didn't even know there were Asta Manjaris. I, I didn't know much after so many years of being with Srila Prabhupada and chanting. I have to admit, I was not very knowledgeable. So then he goes, like that, and waves his hand. And then I understood that he was telling me how to take out my attachments, my unwanted things from my heart by filling it with all the, I want to, I'm aspiring to place love of Prem, Krishna Prem and, and Radha Dasham in my heart. But my heart is full of attachments to my children, my material things. He didn't say, oh, rip those out of your heart. He said, replace them with love for Radharani. And if you love someone, you know everyone they associate with. You love everyone they love. You love everything they love. And so in that way, that would dissolve all my anartas and then fill my heart with the treasure of aspirations for Krishna Prem Radhadashi. And so that's my experience of him practically teaching this. And uh, I, that's, um, so, and you know, just like the other devotees were saying, he, he brought us closer to Srila Prabhupada and everything he did was based on love and affection not um, austerities and harshness. So that's um, what Beautiful. I wanted to speak today. Thank you. Beautiful. That's so wonderful. Thank you. Um, I'll comment on afterwards. Uh, let's go straight to Nihari and then I'll, I'll, I'll summarize at the end. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swaminati Namini Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharini Nirvishesha Shunyavari Pastachar Sita Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Radhikaya Priyadmane Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan I first of all want to offer my Pushpanjali uh, to the lotus feet of my spiritual master Koti Koti Danda Pranand to my uh, Diksha Gurudev, equally to my uh, Shiksha Gurudev's uh, Bhaktivedanta Tanarayan Goswami Maharaj, Sri Bhaktivedan Bharati Maharaj, and uh, Bhakti Baba Puri Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Balavati Vita Goswami Maharaj, and like that. There's so many. Um, uh, so I want to. Um, um, make sure that you know that actually um, um, I don't want to um, take and I don't think I am um, qualified to speak or to teach or uh, in such an illustrious assembly uh, of, of teachers um, and uh, but uh, I, I felt that um, I know that I have an, an unpayable debt to my Shiksha Gurudev Sri Narayan Maharaj. Uh, he's, uh, he 
purify me like you do gold you know you pound it and you heat it and uh, there's a process but in in, uh, in that process uh, that process itself is um, uh, he's he's the expert like many times you know we, we did get a chance to associate with him driving and he will spend months here in Hawaii so every time we'll go and see him and uh, so I learned this um, this lessons if you want to say actually uh, in a very amazing way um, loving way um, one time he actually looked at me and to go into the topic that we're talking about uh, there is a whole volume, if we go into Madhurya Karambini, there is five different uh, major uh, anarthas to, to get rid of, <clears throat> culminating with pratishta, which can bring everything back down to all the offenses coming back, all the anarthas coming back. So Guria really looked at me one day and, and he says, uh, what comes first, prem or the elimination of your anarthas? I said, Prem, I said, uh, you, you might be, you are in Raganuga Bhakti, um, um, uh, Gopal Bhattar Goswami uh, explained it so well. Um, it's uh, Loliam, um, Association, Anugatya, and Mercy. Um, that's how we enter Raganuga. Um, and so how do I get Loliam? And so, um, in his great mercy from day one, um, Ametra Grudet, thanks to the, um, to the compassion that Gopal Brindapal and Mula Prakriti had on, on me um, by uh, and saying, you must, you must meet Sri Narayan Maharaj. And I have heard of, you know, of we course, have met him. we have met him uh, several times, but he, he uh, hasn't been Yet a connection. So this time we were uh, was with him and, and uh, observing very quietly and um, and talking. We had some talks, but um, it, all these symptoms were manifesting. I was profusely uh, sweating, trembling, and um, I didn't know what. Um, it's not that I'm qualified. I realized then the, the common denominator to all of this, including the clearing of our narratives, is always Sarusanga, Sarusanga, Sarusanga. And now I'm here in front of the authentic, the real thing. So it preempted, emptied out all the um, misconceptions one by one, slowly but surely. Um, at one point, Sila they got up from behind his desk and he was walking. He said, uh, he walked towards me and embraced me. And he said, now, very close to my ear, he said, now you're mine and I'm yours. Uh, and uh, he was kind of chuckling at me. I was like, obviously manifesting um, all this. Perhaps it was just nerves. Uh, but uh, I think that if anything, as a symptom, uh, it was his presence. And so, um, in any advancement that we could say, I mean, anything that uh, will be uh, good or coming out uh, of my mouth, it's like, so Rupa Damodar asking, you know, saying, oh, Rupa Goswami, where, Lord Chaitanya is asking, where, where, where to, how did you guess? How, how did you know my heart? And so Rupa Damodar says, oh, you have given him your mercy and, and that is manifesting. And, and so, uh, and or Roy Ramananda saying, I'm, I'm just but the puppet and he's putting all the words in my mouth. So if there's any great, or any qualification on any, uh, um, it's all coming from Gurudev, he's done everything. Um, there was a lecture about problem and I was watching the other day and Prabhupada says, uh, if you have something in your hand and it's, it's okay, 
but then there is something more valuable. So you have to decide, uh, am I gonna, you, you'd be dropping that and grabbing uh, the most valuable thing. In the case of uh, Guru Devis, that Lord Chaitanya, he just like put it in my hand, put it in my heart. Uh, and it was always very affectionate, very in, in a very loving way. And so today, um, uh, I have very little time uh, to, uh, like I said, like our attorney was saying, to um, study the subject. And uh, but all I can remember then is just what did you give me? That's more, most important, and that's the value of the the Vapuvani, and then you can reconfirm it with the Vani that we read. And, um, but always it's been like that. Uh, first, the sound vibration came to me in the form of a written word. And um, my first encounter with Guru Dev, um, it was in 1989, actually, when um, I brought my mother Sashes to Vrindavan. We were there with my sister, Bhaktadasi, Prabhupada disciple. And uh, a Guru Kripa Prabhu had a table with. Gurudev's Parikram book, the first Parikram book. And um, I just couldn't put it down. I never heard such loving, amazing. What it did to my heart is that it evoked again the uh, presence of my Guru Maharaj. And uh, it expanded on, on to what is true love. And so um, um, it, it all became very personal. Um, you know, people say, well, it's not personal, it's business, but in spiritual life, it's actually, it is personal, and it's not business, but it's a true business. So, um, like he did, you know, to Bacharini, he said, what are the names of the, he had actually both of us, the names of the associates, the, the family, of the Krishna's family. So, and, and then remembering what Prabhupada told, told us, you know, that yes, if you attain perfection, you will take birth in Boma Vrindavan. And uh, in, the, in the family of Gopas, and then you'll have your relationship in, in Braj. And then after when Krishna follows his pastimes, um, he'll take you. But Guru Dev just expanded on all that. And, and uh, like he said, I, I now I'm taking your heart, your mind. And the things that I saw, like uh, God brother Sanyas embracing my spiritual master, I just thought, is that possible? And actually, yeah, uh, Guru did, uh, did to me. So the teachings are always emphasized um, by one common denominator, which is, was love and affection. He uh, make me feel part of it rather than and and um, and so then that i want to go enthusiastic to really know more it's like when um, hearing about your uh, heroes um, and heroines of that saga of that and, uh, he made him so um, that they uh, have entered my heart. So in a much, much more real way, it's like um, by Kanas Maharaj would say, I read all this and it just went over my head or entered one ear and came out the other. I read Prabhupada's books by Guru Dev. It's like, uh, and then Prabhupada illustrated some of this, but imagine, you know, what time did he have and, um, uh, to really delucidate it, to, you know, go into depth, you know, with, with the devotees when his time was so short and it was very important to, to publish. So Chaitanya Charitamrita has done a miracle in our lives too. We uh, got hold of uh, by Gurudev's grace of uh, an audio copy. So I've been uh, hearing, but it all uh, goes back to uh, be thankful for the association, how Gurudev taught me, uh, how empty, uh, these unwanted things will disappear, will get minimized. It's like uh, being, and that's the pure devotee, what it, what it does in, in his presence and his teaching. So uh, one time I came into his, his room and he was, uh, he, he said, Harry, what, what would you like to do? Go back 
And he called me Narahari to us and meet me. And he said, what would you like to do, Narahari? Uh, go back to your house and the other island and sit under a palm tree and it's so nice there. You can chant your japa or just be here and um, hear Gurudev chastising. It was this devotee that wanted to get married. He was traveling with him and, and uh, I said, no, Gurudev, I, I want to be here. Yeah. This is this is where I, I, you know, love will enter my heart. This is where you know all the unwanted things will and, and so it will go away, and uh, this is where I learn. Uh, and and I was laughing at the same time internally because uh, his just tax was so loving. I he was just like you know, <laughs> it was like. A, and so he showed me the difference between also the uh, Diksha Gurudev and Shiksha Gurudev. And Shiksha Gurudev is more, um, it's a friend. So and there is a lot of, you know, some intimacy that it can't be uh, exert between the Diksha Gurudev and, and the disciple. Um, and that's the proper, proper way. Um, and, and so I'm, I had to say something. I'm sorry for my um, lack of uh, Siddhanta here. Um, I just wanted to illustrate uh, that actually it's because of the presence of Sadhu that and a guru, a pure devotee, Sri Guru. Uh, guru had taught me so many things, the principle of the Kanda Guru Tattva, you know, Guru is one. Uh, um, and then like that, um, how by association, all these other unwanted things go out the window. Uh, so forgive me for my shortcoming and in short notice, but I felt obligated to, um, I knew it was my duty to glorify my spiritual, my beloved. Seven minutes. I got seven minutes, I got seven minutes to go. <laughs> so um, uh, I, I have but don't feel uh, Prabhu, do whatever is natural. Don't feel obligated if you if you want to stop yeah. now, no problem. It's up to you. Okay. Um, whatever is natural, many... whatever flows. <laughs> whatever flows. Uh, I got to admit, I have to. I'm very nervous, and you know, I, I know there's uh, so many illustrious devotees from Achyutananda, Prabhu, and uh, Bhumipa, and so many uh, yourself and everybody. I don't feel qualified to. To speak, but I must. I have to. And so, if I contribute, uh, hopefully, this little contribution will will enhance and will will um, uh, present, you know, the the greatness of of, of Guru. And I then wanted an external. If you many times this is so yes, you know, the, the Acharya has the external glory of. Yeah. Uh, or impressive, you know, monumental uh, tasks that they accomplished, Bhakti Siddhanta 64, all the amount of the bodies that disciples that he gathered, uh, he established Daivi Varnashram. He, uh, uh, he brought Vaishnavism. He was the, the tool for, uh, for his father to, were, to reestablish uh, true Vaishnavism. So, who um, they actually completed the picture for me. And uh, sometimes he would say, I, I, I admire uh, this disciples of Prabhupada that they stick to this just rules and regulations, you know, that, uh, and it's not that we don't follow rules and regulations, don't, don't get me wrong, that's another mistake that people think, oh, uh, this um, marga, this path of a spontaneous love, uh, is spontaneous to whatever you please. You know, it's like, uh, uh, no, no, it's, it's, everything is followed, but like uh, Maharaj, uh, Abhadi Maharaj <laughs> put it so well, attain, attain love of Godhead and everything else will, will fall in place. Of course, you're going to be following and all harmony will be there. Uh, it's like uh, uh, Narada Muni, when he came, uh, back to his um, Rigari, the, the, the hunter, and, and he comes back after a year with Parvat Muni, and his disciple who sees him is such a joy, 
and he's about to run, but he, he sees that there are ants. So he's just whisking them away. And then finally, when it was clear, he pays his full down the rats. And, and Narada says, this is not so extraordinary. Uh, actually, naturally, because you have become a Vaishnava, Vaishnavas naturally, they're gentlemen, they will mean no harm to any living entity. And, and so, yes, in this um, Pavriti, uh, and this um, acquiring, actually push, pushing in, uh, it's all by Guru's grace, to pushing in the, the good, the glorious love into our hearts, um, all the rest of the stuff goes away. So again, I go back to that one time in the car, I believe, I used to drive in, and sometimes were moments of, of silence, but there was so much love in the air. It's like, uh, you know, when you, you're in love, you know, into nature and like that, and it's, there's moments, or, you know, two lovers, there's moments that there is no need of, there is no words, but the, the feeling, the atmosphere is there. So, um, but I go back to that point where they're going to say, what comes first? The elimination of Anartas or Krishna Prabhupada? So I, I will leave it like that. Um, I'm sorry for my offenses and shortcomings here um, and for bearing with me uh, in adequacy. Thank you so much. Is it possible? Um, I can see you. Yeah, both have said, yeah, it's lovely to see. I love seeing you together because you're, <laughs> you, you know, it's like, it's funny. It's like you, you, like Krishna can't appreciate himself. So he has to come and taste himself. You can't appreciate yourself as a beautiful uh, darling daughter and darling son of Srila Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada, but just observing how you interact with each other, how you uh, correct each other with such compassion and sweetness and how you serve each other. It's just lovely. It's beautiful to see. And I, oh, can, see so, I, I can see so much of Prabhupada and Gurudev has melted into you. And, and it's beautifully bookended today by Gurudev's arrangement and not by our arrangement because we started off with... Um, with Mahabudi talking about don't be hopeless and about the mercy of Gurudev and, and really this instruction, which you explained so practically, it, it didn't matter that it didn't have loads of verses and lots of, you know, sedanta. The, the practical application of it is what's so important. This whole idea, like you had me really crying at the beginning, Didi, when you were talking about November the 14th in 1970. So I was there with you in the room, even though I wasn't, you took me into that room, you know? And this whole idea of, you know, replacing <clears throat> this hope that we have that we've been given is like whatever in Nartas we're feeling that's going on with us it's okay because we know what to replace them with because not only have we been given the knowledge but we've more importantly we've been given the mercy and you many times probably you said oh, I'm not qualified but you are qualified because Gurudev qualifies us we don't have to be qualified he's qualifying that's us and that's really what you're saying in essence and so not only do we not have to be not only do we not need to be hopeless but we are not helpless because we have the greatest helpers in the world, the greatest helpers <laughs> in the cosmos actually. And you've exemplified that both how you've expressed it and also how you just through your, how you behave, it's really inspiring. So it's a beautiful way to end the first day. Very, very grateful to you both. I, you, um, you reminded me of something Guru Dave said once. He said, don't anyone ever try to come in between Narihari and Bhava Tarini. <laughs> Gurudev has done, like he used to say, operation in our hearts. And yeah. the, the incident happened that the bodies were like, you know, even Tridandis uh, Maharaj were there, morning walks with uh, Gurudev, and says, Oh, you're next. You're going to take sannyas. <laughs> and and <laughs> I felt embarrassed. <laughs> and and Gurudev never, ever mentioned that. And they kind of actually, when they told him, you know, look, what about? You know, so once you you know go, I will never, Gurudev, I will never come between those two. <laughs> oh, be that's beautiful. I, that's great. Just, oh, one time, um, I, one time, I said, "Well, actually, if he wants to take sannyas, that's okay with me." And Madhava Maharaj and Shri Gurudev, and Bra they're going, "What? Why would you ever say that? You should never say that." 
<laughs> I thought that was very Krishna conscious that I'm willing to let my husband take sannyas. Yeah, and they that, said, no, never. You should never agree. <laughs> it shows you how his instructions are always specific to each devotee, you know? Right. right yeah, always different. 